Hey guys, it's Greg back with another video on data science and machine learning. And today I'm going to go through one of the projects that I did in my 24 hour session. This is a project I did at 7 a.m. in the morning after not sleeping and working the entire day. So I'm still going to use the same code because it was actually fine code. I'm just going to explain it in full. I'm going to jump right into it. But as always, check the description if there's something data science and machine learning you're wanting to learn. There's so much material down below. So today we're going to talk about Pokemon and how to detect outliers in Pokemon, which means basically find Pokemon that are interesting using statistics. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm actually going to show you a very novel way that often works. And you could even argue that I cheated it just a little bit because instead of coming up with an answer beforehand and sticking with it, I kind of eyeballed it and took a few different guesses as to the numbers I was going to use to get the desired result. But I got an outlier detection of Pokemon based off of their speed and health stat. And if you don't know what those are, basically a Pokemon is fast if it has a high speed and it's slow if it has a slow speed. And while well, it, it's going to survive a lot longer, it has a lot more health or maybe it dies quickly or faints because it doesn't really die. So you can see we're on Kaggle right now. The file of interest is slash Kaggle slash input slash Pokemon slash Pokemon.csv. So this is not my information. I'll put a link in the description as to whose it is. So thank you for that. I, I can look at the file pretty quickly. I just open it with pandas, pandas.readcsv, that file. There's a lot of different stuff here that I might cover in the future if you like it. For personally, it's something I'm doing because I really find it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to look at some of these variables. But I'm just going to look at health and speed for this as a simple example. And so I'm going to have just the, the columns of name, HP, and speed. So I'm just getting those columns in the data frame. You can do that with pandas very easily by just basically nesting this list of column names that you care about. And here's the result, at least the first five results. We have Bulbasaur, obviously, or Venusaur, which are basically the same Pokemon, just evolutions of it. You can see that's why it gets better every time it, fall, it evolves. And there's Charmander, Charmeleon, and the next one would be Charizard, if you're familiar. So I can do a histogram of the Pokemon, which I don't know why it's complaining because it doesn't really matter. So basically just for their health and speed stat, here's a histogram for that. And it's the, the syntax is very easy. It's just the data frame dot hist. That's going to make a histogram of all of its columns. Okay, so HP is, you know, kind of sort of normally distributed with a, a bunch on the end that well, a few on the end, meaning that this thin tail, there's a couple Pokemon with really high speed. I know some I can think of like Ninjask, Feramosa, and a bunch of legendaries, to be honest. And they have speed, sorry, that was the health, but same goes with health. There's like uh, legendaries that have high health and same with speed. There is a mostly normally distributed around like 75. This is their base stat, by the way, if you're curious, but it doesn't really matter. And again, we have a couple that are at the end, which have really high stats like Pheromosa or something like I just said. Okay, so we're going to use Plotly, and I'm not going to go over the Plotly syntax too much because you can mostly just copy and paste Plotly code and it's going to work pretty well. But we're using the uh, graph objects. It's super easy to use. And I'm going to make a graph here that before I show it, I'll just explain a little bit is I have a title, which is health and speed of Pokemon. The x-axis title is the health and speed. So I'm basically making a scatter plot of health and speed. And to do that, this is just basically the graph, but not the actual plot. And so to add the plot, we're going to do figure dot add trace. And that trace is going to be a scatter plot of the health on the x, y, and speed, speed on the y. And if you hover over it, I'm going to make sure that you see their name. Okay, so show that, and we got an awesome plotly graph here of health and speed of Pokemon. So the speed is on the Y and the health is on the X, and you can see it's mostly uh, distributed in this kind of cluster here. It's mostly here, but then there's kind of this other stuff that we're interested in, which is the outliers. So I would consider like these outliers, you know, maybe these are arguably a Vaporeon. I mean, Vaporeon shouldn't really be an outlier. Kyurem, maybe, to Legendary. Something like this, that should probably be an outlier. Shedinja, Diglett, I guess it's just low health, is that why? So it's, yeah, really low health, okay. And Deoxys, I'm not sure which form it is, but it's going to have crazy high speed. So maybe it's Deoxys speed, or actually I think it's more than that, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, so there's our plot, and we're trying to figure out how to actually get these outliers. So how can we do that? Well, a simple way to do that mathematically is just to think about, assume they are, assume both distributions are normally distributed. And if they are, then that would mean that stuff with high Z scores, or if you standardize it, meaning you subtract each value by its mean and standard deviation. So we would standardize both the speed and the health column. So for the health, you would get the health mean and the health standard deviation, and you would transform the, the, standardiza <laughs> the standardization transformation I just said. And so if I do that, it's health normalized and speed normalized. I'm just adding the column. And again, the panda syntax is really easy. You have, this is the same thing as saying Pokemon sub HP. It's just that column minus its health's mean. It has a mean function in pandas and it has a standard deviation function in pandas. So we make a new column and then we're going to actually add that column to the data frame. And we're doing that for both so that we can just have it all in a pandas data frame here where it, each of the values here are its normalized values. And again, we should make a histogram here and we should see that it's around zero because we're standardizing it. So again, it's gonna look fairly normally distributed, but there's still gonna be these tails here. And those are the tails of interest. Now, you could make a statistical argument as to define right away what is an outlier or what is not. You could say something like, if the HP is greater than two, and the and the speed is greater than two or if the health is greater than two or the speed is greater than two or vice versa something like that i just kind of played around with that when i did this and i got some numbers i didn't play too much i just kind of looked at it a few times and wanted to see roughly the results i wanted and so i decided upon the formula of if the uh, the normalized health is less than negative 1.5 so that's basically around here and the health or, or the health. So it's an outlier if any of these are true. So, or the health is greater than 2.5 or the speed is less than negative two. So you can see here, that makes sense. Or the speed normalized again is greater than 2.5. So like over here. So anything that's either over here or over here or over here or over here, any of those are going to be considered an outlier. So I have this added as a column. And again, the pandas syntax is very easy. We're just applying a function to each of the rows. And that's why I said axis equals one. So if I give it the row and then I apply this function, it's just a lambda. It's kind of a complex lambda. I could have wrote a function for it, but I didn't have to. And if I get that, I add that immediately to an outlier column on the same data set. And then if I get the head of that, I get these same first five results. Just it did it for all of them, but it's just showing the five results and it's whether they're an outlier or not. Unsurprisingly, the first five are kind of normal stuff and they're not outliers, but I promise you there is lots of them that have ones in there. Okay, so now I'm going to show that plot and this plot's a little more interesting. So we have the health and speed and the health and speed. So obviously this is just copied from above, but now we have an outlier Pokemon is only the Pokemon that have an outlier column value that's equal to one and normal ones are zero and that's going to change the color so we're going to make two traces we're going to basically uh, separate the data set into outliers and not outliers that way we can cover them so that if i add this trace of the outlier pokemon well i want that to be the outlier pokemon's name and the where is it actually i guess it's going to do the, the color by default so since i'm adding two different traces it's actually going to figure out that we want them to be two different colors and the name i'm going to set to be the outliers for the outliers and the name to be normal for the normals and that's the the hover text is going to be their name still so i'm going to run that and we're going to see that basically yeah these are going to color the ones and it's because i kind of wanted it to look this way you could have done a strict something that like cut it off here or here or a whole bunch of different things but it's just me toying around to see that okay this these make sense to be outliers pictorially and that's all really maybe routes shouldn't be maybe munchlax shouldn't be but i guess it is based off of its uh, its health stat there so that's really the main conclusion is you can very very easily do outlier detection on something quite interesting uh, as for pokemon 
and you can just color the graph with very, very simple code. Like if you saw how easy this was, I'm not even, a, I'm definitely not a master in Plotly. I'm fairly good at pandas, but I didn't do anything too sophisticated. And you can just color the points to be outliers or not based off of some simple statistics. It worked just fine. And some people might argue with me that it wasn't the best approach, but I think it was pretty good. And if you liked today's video, please give it a like. If you want to see more stuff of, about this or about a particular data set, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really interested in what you have to say. And if you watch this video and you're not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe and see you later. Bye-bye.